It's moving day again. So I didn't know how long exactly I was gonna stay in South Korea. So I booked this place till the end of the month. Staying a couple weeks longer. So gotta move. This place is not available anymore. Really like this place though. Last minute dummy check. Not nearly as nice of a view, but got a cool kitchen with a with a kitchen island. That's really helpful. And a couch is nice. All right, gonna go settle in and uh, go grab something to eat. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can say what's wrong. Life is suddenly so complete. On the tip of my tongue, miracles be Words cannot explain how excited I am about this place. So my friend Krista told me about this place and as soon as you walk in, blasted with the smell of cooked meat and charcoal. They got this whole stove set up in the front. They take mass, these massive beef bones, they trim off the fat, which I would like a little fat on there. Destiny. After he trims the fat up, it goes onto the fire for not too long, maybe just a couple of minutes, where the flames just tickles and licks and get all intimate with the goby. And then it sits over the straw where it does nothing but soak in all that amazing smoke. Finally, it comes to the grill, they finish cooking it and lay it on a bone. How perfect of a beefy fairy tale ending is that? And then just sitting on the bone, dripping oil, and the first bite they tell you, they have four different dipping sauces. There's fermented fish roll, salt, bean, and then wasabi. But they tell you the first bite, eat it as is. <sighs> oh. 
promised myself I wouldn't cry. It might actually be the best Korean barbecue I've had ever. I'm still trying to make it out in my mind how something can be this good. Make sure you take a bite of kimchi in between the bites of beef. Just so every single taste of meat can be like the first time. It's too good. I'll try my best to describe what I just put in my mouth like five times with no additional sauces or, or seasoning. You don't need anything on this, nothing. This thing was born perfect. First of all, as soon as you put this in your mouth, you taste a whiff of fragrant smoke. And then starting from your mouth, your whole world just starts to melt away and just engulfed by this, this insane dimension of cloud of fat and flavor and juice and all your taste buds doing at this point is it, just thanking you so much for giving them that. The flavor is subtly sweet, you can taste the marinade. It's definitely salty enough. This is a transformative barbecue. This is something you 100% need to try when you come to Seoul. I'm just gonna try with a little bit of wasabi. Mm. You know what? I love it. A little wasabi takes some of the grease away, makes you appreciate the beef even more. This is like some fermented fish roll. I never seen this offered as a sauce for beef before. Oh, that's a surprise. No, oh, I love that little poppin' fish eggs. Kind of highlight the smoky flavor of the beef. Also, what I love is the punch on here, especially this. This kimchi that they have here is kind of icy. It's amazing. It's not like you're, you're eating kimchi ice cream a little bit, but the ice kind of um, hides the spicy flavor of this kimchi until it's too late. You're like, oh my God, I didn't think it was gonna be that spicy. And it is. And now you're happy. Look at this. The sesame and everything's on top. And then kimchi, radish, everything here with the noodles. Oh, little slices of pork on the bottom. And what you can do, take a piece of the galbi, wrap it up with the noodles. Mm. I love everything here. This is so good. I ordered another bowl. Yeah, I did. I prepare myself a little bit this time. Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. Also, can't forget about the soybean paste beef soup. Oh, it's so good. I officially love this place so, so much. I will pop the question tomorrow if it didn't, you know, scare it away and become all awkward and stuff. Mm. Some people might not like the soybean paste soup because it's a little funky. Oh, that flavor is deep and rich. So much good stuff in here from veggies to mushrooms to tofu. A little bit of meat. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh, round two is here. You say that you don't need me. You say let's take things slowly. I hope you realize you're playing with the fire. I know what heartbreak feels like. I know I've shed some teardrops. I've been here before. And I'll be honest, the first time I had this, it was getting a little cold because I was down there filming them grilling this. So this is my like first fresh batch. Oh, that is so much juice. So, so happy with this. I might go for round three. I mean, the first time I had it, it was already 
tremendous. But to try it right off the grill is to know that the food gods do exist. All that great beefy flavor, the fat, the smokiness, the marinade, all that, plus the explosion of juice when you chomp down on that piece of meat. Oh, by the way, after this, we're gonna turn that into fried rice. They took the remaining meat from the bone, like the meat that's closest to the bone, you know, the part that has the most flavor. They stripped it down, grilled it, and stirred rice onto it. Am I smiling? I feel like I'm smiling. So I'm pretty darn happy with this. Wow, this might be my favorite part. First of all, oh. It smells like heaven. Secondly, the rice is spicy fried rice. And when you bite down on the beef, all that juice, all that fat gets over every single grain of rice as well. And the grains of rice is already touching the fat remnants of the beef anyway. I know they do this a lot in Korea, where they stir rice onto like meat remnants and what whatnot. By far the best one. When you meet that perfect person, there's a moment where you're like, I know I'm done. I'm off the mark. I'm, I'm, I'm good. That's kind of how I feel right now. At least for today. I, I, I want to eat more later, but I don't know if I'm going to eat again after this. I just want that flavor to linger with me for the rest of the day. Hey, dinner time. Come on, let, let, let's be honest. I was always gonna eat dinner. What was I kidding myself? Even though the great barbecue memory will be with me throughout this meal, I found this amazing katsu place right beside my new hotel. Katsu and omrice. And dinner, Alice is joining me. Hi. So, she, you ordered a rumune. Yeah. You did not know your, what a rumune is. No, what, what were you trying to order? Lemonade. Lem <laughs> she said lemonade, they thought she meant rumune. Okay, have you opened a rumune before? Yeah. Try it. Are you giving up? Is it crusty? Oh, you crusty like these. I have no idea. I'm giving up. So, this is for all those of you guys out there who's never opened a rumune, which is one of my favorite drinks in the world. All right, Alice. There you go. See the marble in here? Okay, you snap the tap off. Taste your first taste of rumune. You couldn't put straw in there. No, you can't put a straw. There's a marble in there. Oh, I mean, I guess you could. How do you drink it? <laughs> Just none of us ever done that. You're messing up how to drink Ramone. Mm. You like it? Mm. All right, we kind of butchered the uh, arm rice cutting. Yo, that's good omrice. It's much better than what I had in New York. That is creamy. I and mean, the rice is fantastic. The sauce is good. This is good. I love the spice. Mm. Honestly, that didn't look that good. It kind of looked like a little, little yeah. soggy on the outside, but that was kind of crunchy on the outside. And the meat is so tender. I can't believe how tender this is. It is so tender. Way better than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, I, I'm very impressed by this. Today has just been a great meat day for me. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
a combo of wasabi and meat are just the greatest. We got another steak. Look at the marbly on that steak. It's magical how they get this tender. Mm. Ah, forget going to a fancy steakhouse. Come here and get this stuff. How much was it? Like $10? Yeah. Like something like that? Oh, it's cheap. Really good steak. Very, very good. We're amazing. It's about to close, so I gotta eat up. Great lunch, good dinner. I know what I wanna do tonight. I haven't done in so long. First of all, best cookie ever. I love you so much, Chase Dap. With some corn tea when you're in Korea. You drink corn tea. Wish we had the stuff back in Missouri. We're surrounded by corn. My two week countdown has officially begun. So I'll be here for two weeks and then I'll be flying back to the US. I know I've been getting a lot of messages telling me not to go back and honestly, I don't want to, but a couple things. One is my visa is about to expire anyway at the end of the month. So I have to go back regardless at that time. Also, we've been working on this restaurant for so many years and there's so many people involved and everyone's got their own livelihoods. I don't want, I don't want to personally hinder any of that. So I want to go back for my friends, my partners and all the staff we have at the restaurant. I'm actually already applying for a visa trying to get into Taiwan. If I can, uh, that's where I'll go after we take care of all the restaurant stuff. But before any of that, I don't do this a lot, especially not um, in hotels, but I feel like I kind of need it. So this place has a bathtub. And it has one of those uh, bathtub headrest dealies. The view is, you know, it's not great. And I'm really not a bath person, but I kind of feel like I need a bath right now. So a couple of episodes of Startup. Sounds like a good rest of the evening. All right guys, as always, thank you all so much for watching. See you later.